Conso and other poems is part memoir, part conjecture, part magic trick. And it tells the story of butch women in, in London in the late 80s, early 90s, and the butch counterculture that held me as I grew. The book begins when a series of vitrines materialise outside all the old gay spaces, all the clubs, bars, cottages, cruising grounds, the squats. And inside each of the vitrines is a moment that's been preserved from wider gay history or very personal moments to me. One of the vitrines is a fish tank. And inside this fish tank, I've preserved one night in 1995 in the mega gay club called Heaven. And I talk about the lighthouse in this poem. The lighthouse was a gay hospice. This poem was written at the height of the AIDS epidemic in London. And we would go there week after week, the butchers, to dance with the gay boys, because when the world is ending, what is there to do but dance? But we would see spaces appear across the dance floor where our friends used to be. Heaven, 1995. Vinegar, this moment of belief. Club in a fish tank riot genesis. A boy touches her fingertip to the light beam and God winks a wet eye. Maybe the light is an escalator to the afterlife or after party or the parts of her body she checked in the cloakroom. But tonight, all of the dead will dance with her. All of the dead are well dressed this evening. They solemn the escalator, descend to the dance. Tequila Mockingbird releases her wig back into the wild, blows a kiss that exhales into carrion birds, the core of bad lipstick, numb beaks scattering round white seeds from which Gautier sailors grow, haloed in certainty, their muscles the shaven heads of women marching back into their bones, a clearing at the centre of them. The butchers peel off their shirts and underneath they are children. Salt this boy, how she reaches towards the infinite, this moment between, how she sees the ghosts of those still alive, how she conjures life from life, how the lighthouse winks at the storm.